this is Stampy and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video and another round of Hunger Games and I know I've been bringing you so many of these but uh, I'm playing on what seems to be uh, a pretty awesome map. It's called Frosty Mountain Hunger Games and uh, over here you can see all of the builders. Uh, Take Your Shirt is the uh, host of the game and uh, he is actually going to be playing with me but there's a whole bunch uh, of other people around here. Um, yeah, these are some of the uh, the YouTubers that I believe have um, uh, actually played on the map, I think. And so you can see lots of big people here. You've got like Big B Stats and uh, uh, Saints Fan as well. And uh, we got to put down our signatures as well. Uh, I'm actually being uh, joined by uh, a few other YouTubers in this game. But uh, I'm going to in a little I'm going to introduce them uh, once I get to my pod. Because I believe that, uh, as always, I'm the final person to get to the pod. And I'm holding everyone up. Yeah, and I got a bunch of stuff, actually. I got uh, my, my map, which I don't believe I'm allowed and I got a load of coal or everyone seems to have coal or <laughs> I think that while I was setting up someone was throwing me some and is there any room for a pod I don't want your coal or Lee you can have that back right here we go here's my pod down here and all look cake as well right I'm being joined by uh, Idrush uh, take your shot the host Alpha Lee Ballistic Squid M2 uh, shot paintbrush and it's earth so uh, yeah a whole bunch of people uh, officially Smithy and Lewis Blogs Gaming uh, are it's earth and Idrush and Squid uh, I'm sure many of you uh, know very well and Alpha Lee as well I'm sure uh, many of you know just as well and stop trying to throw your coal to me shot paintbrush you can have your coal or back I don't want it I'm pretty sure that no matter what situation I get into in the map I'm not gonna need any coal or <laughs> so yeah basically I assume that uh, at some point the, this floor is gonna drop down or open up in some way uh, we do have a minute grace period and uh, I believe the way they're gonna tell us when uh, the grace period is over uh, is by taking away our gamer tags and none of us are teamed up either, uh, but we are allowed to um, team up uh, during the game. Uh, basically, if you guard your sword, that is sort of the uh, the universal sign for please don't kill me. And uh, here we go. All we need to do uh, is wait for Take Your Shirt to, to start the game. And oh no, Lee's lagged out. Looks like Lee's lagged out just as the game was about to start. Maybe he couldn't handle it. Maybe he couldn't handle the pressure of the Hunger Games. And even though we were just about to start, he got scared and uh, uh, decided to leave. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the... What the delay is. I thought everyone was in here waiting for me, but uh, I showed up and uh, everyone seems just to be waiting here just as much. Uh, I think that uh, Take Your Shirt needs to uh, pull some sort of lever or something to open it up. Uh, I guess we're probably uh, waiting for Alpha Lee to join back in. Right, Alpha Lee's in. Are we ready? Is everyone ready for the battle to commence? <laughs> I love these moments when you're just seeing everyone's little heads like poking out and like everyone just keeps jumping up and down. <laughs> the tension's killing me. And look at Squid over there. I was just about to say how cool and calm and collected he looked just staying still but uh, then he started jumping up and down like everyone else <laughs> what's going on why are you all just here it's like here we go oh we're off we're up oh where are we going oh what do we go up the ladder i thought we were going to be going down not up okay right let's just see if i can find something oh i got a stone sword already that's good and i got all some potions and all sorts here and was that a blaze spawner i think that was <laughs> how crazy would it be if i just spawned that blaze and now and oh look an iron sword oh that's awesome that was an awesome start and i just got pushed down right where do we go then how do I get, uh, like, into the map proper? Oh, no, that, that's a pit of lava. Um, I'm just going to follow everyone else, I guess. Like, as I said, I've never played this map before, so I have literally uh, no idea, like, what it's going to be like. Like, I know it's obviously going to be mountainy and frosty, but uh, that's all I know. Oh, is this the actual map? I thought we were going to drop down to somewhere else. I guess we uh, kind of just run around here then. And here we go. We can see everyone uh, here sort of grouped together. Okay, right. We're off then. We're off then properly. <laughs> I was just kept expecting us to drop down to somewhere else, but uh, apparently this is the map properly. And oi, we're not allowed to attack each other yet. We've got to wait until the, the game attack tags have got turned off. We've got a, a minute grace period. I want to be careful though. I don't want someone to kill me the, the second the game starts. I'm doing okay though. Like having the iron sword has given me uh, a really big boost. I do feel like I don't know, that I could at least defend myself, if not uh, take someone out too effectively. And uh, I got a little bit of armor. I got some gold armor, which isn't the best, to be honest, but uh, it's better than uh, nothing. Uh, I've also been told uh, that apparently uh, there is a house for uh, me and Squid somewhere in this world. Apparently he built a village and uh, it's got like a little home for me and Squid to go in. So uh, I'm determined to try and uh, come across that at some point. And uh, I kind of just want to stay alive at first. I always uh, like at the start of uh, Hunger Games uh, just to spend a bit of time looking around and just exploring the map uh, before I go into my first fight because there's a good chance that uh, your first fight will also be your last fight. And uh, yeah, I, I don't want to die too early on. Like, I never 
mind not winning. Like, I come to expect not winning, you know. There's normally eight people in the game and the chances are uh, you're not going to win. And I'm kind of scared people are going to attack me, even though um, we're not uh, supposed to attack each other yet. Like, I don't know, I always a bit scared that some people might not be playing by the rules and they might go after me. And Oh, look at this. How about that for a chest? Jolly good. Look at all this food and arrows and all sorts. And um, I'm a little bit scared as well because uh, mobs are on and I don't want to get attacked by any googlies. But look, I got another iron sword there and I got a bow and oh, oh look, someone's thrown me some bones. <laughs> I'm not a dog. Was she trying to tame me then? <laughs> right, and I'm going to get my, my oh, I got a wolf spawner here as well. I can spawn a wolf and try and tame it. Right, shall I give it a go? Shall I try spawning a wolf? Okay, this person seems to be teaming up with me. I believe that's M there. So yeah, I can team up with M. And let's see if I can go and get a wolf on my side. Oh no, I didn't get any... I think... Oh, she's throwing me some more bones. Come on, please be mine. Yay, I've got a wolf on my side. Oh, this, this game just got that bit more exciting now. So I got a team. I got two teammates. I got a wolf and a cow on my side. I feel set now. All we need to do is uh, wait for gamer tags to be turned off and then I'm going to go on the hunt. I'm going to go around trying to attack each other. And look at this place here. Look at all of this snow. And there seems to be like a, a few airships that we might be able to uh, to go up to up there. I just want to be very careful I don't, don't get snuck up on. What's that? I've got a splash potion of strength and uh, i got a splash potion of poison. And oh look, there's some, there's some cake down in here. And look at all of these chests. Should I see if there's anything good in all of these? The chances are they've all been looted, but I uh, might as well just have a quick check just to make sure there's no a uh, few supplies left randomly there. And is M going to sleep? <laughs> this isn't the time to sleep. We're in the middle of a battle over here. <laughs> I don't know where to go then. Like, it's a bit of a confusing Hunger Games. It's weird having the pods... I don't know, kind of where they are. Like, as I said, I did assume to uh, to drop down. And gamer tags are off now. Right, the battle has begun properly now, I assume. And I guess that must have been empty because M just looked in it. I do feel very confident, though. I know, like, I always say I feel confident once I find some good loot than normally uh, end up dying. But uh, the fact that I've teamed up with someone... Actually, I can give her a... Uh, I can give her my other iron sword. I didn't even think about that. I was just there being selfish. M, come here, look. Come, take this. M, M, come on. I got a present for you. And uh, you may actually remember M2. She's actually been in a, a one of the videos in my lovely world. She's been on my friends list for a very long time. Look, M, look what I got for you there. I got you an iron sword. Look, does she want it? Has she seen it? <laughs> I think she's too focused on what's in all of these chests. I'm determined to make her pick it up. Look, there you go. And oh, no, dog. No, dog, run away from there. Run away from there. Come over here. Come over here, dog. Oh, no, please don't die. Please don't have... run. Stop running back into the fire. Sit down, boy. Sit. Come, come here. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. You're as bad as the dogs in my lovely world. And have you, have you got any cooked meat? I think you can't cook, uh, give them raw meat, can you? Uh, does that help them? Oh, it does actually. Raw meat does help them out. I oh, thank God for that. Right, let's get out of here. You stay away from fire. <laughs> oh, I'm going to call that dog Bernie uh, for obvious reasons after uh, what it just did. <laughs> right, come on, Bernie. Stick with me. Stay away from all of the fire. Oh, and here's the village. This might be where uh, mine and Squid's house are. Oh, more fire in there. Right, we are not going in there. Be careful. There's a little bit of a weird dip here. I'm kind of scared there's going to be uh, some traps or something. Here we go. There's a chest uh, up here. And oh, Lee was slain. Lee was slain by shot paintbrush. I think that's the um, the first person to die, actually, which is uh, quite far into the Hunger Games. And look at some of these views. It's actually a, a really well-made map. And so I, I basically just want to find uh, any more chests that I can, really. And apparently there's also a uh, Stampy's Hot uh, Buns as well. And oh, Take Your Shirt was killed as well. He's the host. That that means the host has been taken out. You'd expect that he would uh, be in like quite close to the end, just because uh, he helped build the map. Uh, but apparently he didn't uh, do any of the uh, the chests. Uh, so that way it would have been fair. Like, he didn't know what was in the chest. He just sort of kind of knew where the chests were. So it's a little bit of an advantage. But I guess it didn't help him too much, seeing as he has been taken out. And look, there's a little hidden chest up there. It's all very empty over here. I feel like we're we're behind someone else that's been here before and's looted all of this stuff around here. What I really just want to find is mine and Squid's house, you know. I hope there's going to be some sort of sign or something there just to... Uh, just to let us know which one it is. And has she got the um has she got the iron sword that I gave her? Hopefully she did pick it up. Hopefully it's not just left lying around somewhere. And all right, I got a helmet down here and I got some bread and a bit more raw beef, which I can give to uh, to Bernie in case he needs it a little bit later on. Uh, actually I can probably give some of my um my armor to M as well here. If I throw down uh, some of this stuff. I think she might have enough anyway, but uh, clears out my inventory if nothing else and leave us alone slimes We can't be bothered to deal with you <laughs> I just want to find someone now I either want to find someone or I want to find my house just so I can say that uh, I visited my house in this um 
in this Hunger Games. Uh, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I, like, I've stayed alive. I've done what I wanted. As I always said, I always like to stay alive uh, for at least a little while at the beginning, uh, just so I can have a good look around the map. And I feel like I've done that now. I feel like I've got a pretty good idea what this uh, Hunger Games is all about. And oh, look at that tree up there. It's like a massive palm tree. It looks really weird, doesn't it? All right, let's get my, my bread there ready. I got my bow and arrow in case I need it. I always get scared when I'm uh, going into areas that haven't loaded in properly, just in case, like, someone comes out of the blue. Just in case there's someone, like, right there and I just can't see them. I might uh, back off a little bit. Uh, the connection does seem to be okay, but that is loading in quite slowly. And uh, I, I don't think Em's using the iron sword. She's using a gold sword. I, I gave you an iron sword. There's no point using that. Maybe she just likes the colour. It does suit um suit her chest plate. Why are you trying to give me a gold sword? Can you not see what I'm holding? I'm holding an iron one already. I'm, I'm set. I, I guess we could go around the back here. Oh, look, you can go inside the tree. Oh, this might be a good place to, uh, to hold out, actually. Like, say if I, I get in trouble when I'm weak and I'm getting chased, it's always good to, to get to an area like this. So say if someone chases you, uh, you might be able to knock them down the middle and uh, kill them with full damage because uh, I believe there's only two people taken out so far. What was it? The uh, the host was taken out and um, I think Lee was taken out or Lee took someone else out. I kind of lose track. There's got to be something good in here. I oh, look at this. Got diamond boots, a bow, a squid spawn. Oh yeah, I really want that. And uh, another iron sword. So uh, maybe if I leave that in there, M might grab it. And I'm very very scared that my dog's gonna drop down but look at my armor now diamond boots iron chest plate a load more arrows and a splash another splash potion of poison i'm feeling very confident the uh the squid spawn egg uh, if i see squid i might just spawn it down in front of him as a little joke and oh look, there's someone coming up here there's someone coming up behind us get him get him oh look did we kill him oh look they both died Oh look, he, he killed M, but then I killed him. <gasps> that was intense, that was intense. That was Lewis Bloggs Gaming. And look how hurt I was. He nearly killed both of us. He so nearly took both of us out. Right, I'm scared someone else is gonna sneak up behind us. And oh no, I've lost my partner. M got taken out. I oh, look at all the loot here though. I can see some, some chainmail leggings there. What I might do is go and dump uh, a bunch of this stuff in this chest here, uh, just cause I don't really need it. Oh, there's another wolf spawn. And oh no, did, um, did Bernie die? I think Bernie got taken out as well. Oh, that's really sad. Right, I can't see anyone else sneaking up behind me. If I just keep putting a load of this stuff, actually, I'm going to uh, keep that on me. Uh, but yeah, if I dump a load of the stuff that I don't need into here, uh, and then that way I can be able to uh, go and pick up a whole like bunch of new stuff. Actually, I take the water. That could come in useful. And uh, I'm very scared someone's going to be coming up behind me. I'm going to have to uh, keep going down here and just checking no one's sneaking up. Okay, we do seem to be okay. <laughs> right, what else can I dump in here? Uh, I don't need... I've already got iron boots. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to leave all the best stuff, because if someone comes up and just finds this place, it's going to be like Christmas for them, like all of the amazing loot that they're going to randomly find in here, right? Don't need uh, all of that armor. Uh, anything else I don't really need? Oh, I don't need like all of these swords. I'm probably, uh, probably okay with just the one sword for now. Right, let me just very quickly once again make sure no one's coming up behind me. Right, I think I'm okay. So one more uh, quick dumping of stuff. I just put two more stuff in there. Uh, I don't need that, and I don't need... Uh, actually, I'll keep that. Um, I, I don't need a map. I'm actually not supposed to have a map. I don't know uh, who kept on to their map. Who was cheating then? Right, what what new can I have? Alright, I can put some I can put some leggings on. Actually, was there was there chainmail leggings in here? Oh, there were. There we go. I can I can put these on as a bit of a an upgrade. And then let's try and sort out my inventory a bit so I can uh, sort of work out what I want to have at hand. So obviously, want my sword. Actually, I want to go a bit back. I'm a bit scared being that close to the edge. Right, I'm probably not going to bother spawning in a magma cube. A uh, golden apple is going to be good. A uh, splash potion of poison is going to be very useful. Uh, strength as well. Uh, spawning in blaze could help me out. Another splash potion of poison there. I'm going to have a bow there. I don't really need my food there anymore because I don't have a dog sadly. Uh, so yeah, it'd be good to go and maybe uh, get some more bones uh, and then like get another dog but I'm doing okay. Oh look, squid was slain by shot paintbrush and take your shirt was sl uh, slain by shot paintbrush. <laughs> I'm sure he had already died. Did he die and then come back into the game maybe? I hope not. I hope no one's uh, cheating. Uh, another splash potion of strength. I've got so many uh, splash potions of uh, poison actually. Oh, I think this is a better one actually. I think this is a um a stronger splash potion of poison and they are really good. If I sort of spam them at someone that could uh, really help me out. Right, let's go. Let's go uh, carry on wandering around the map and hopefully uh, come across someone new. Right, 
Look both ways as you exit the tree, just in case there's someone right behind you. <laughs> I can't believe how much loot I managed to find. Like, I got a bow and arrow, like so many iron swords, like pretty much every different type of armor. I kind of look like I'm wearing rainbow robes at the moment. If you've seen that in my lovely world when I built my uh, my fashion shop, I had uh, rainbow robes as one of my outfits. That's kind of uh, the style I'm going for right now. It's certainly uh, better for a Hunger Games than something like... um. Uh, what's the other one? A uh, stampy star where you're just wearing your boots and that. And there's a whole load of melon in here. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to run out of food, but I might as well uh, have a little bit of safety grub in my pocket. Uh, make sure no one's sneaking up on me. Right, what I might do then is I might go uh, keep heading around the outside of this uh, big frosty mountain and uh, go back to where the spawn was. Uh, because hopefully that's kind of going to be uh, the hot spot and where most people are going to be hanging out, you know? I'm ready for my action now. I spent too long on the top of the tree trying to juggle my millions of items and uh, I'm ready to go and get into some good proper combat. So far, I've got a 100% success rate for all of my battles. To be fair, I only got in one battle and I nearly died even though I was 2v1. Actually, I was 3v1. It was a cat, a cow and a wolf against one man and we just about managed to win. <laughs> and people say animals aren't as good. And what's this? Uh, oh, this is a, a, a blacksmith. Uh, I just really want to find my house. I want to find Stampy's house and Stampy's hot buns. Uh, maybe it's going to be around here somewhere. What's this here? Oh, here we go, Stampy's house. And yay, it's got cake in. Oh, it's got a cake machine. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look, cake comes out of it. Oh, that is so cool. I, I got to grab a cake, right? I got to throw something on the floor so I can pick up that cake, right? I, I don't need the, that helmet. Right, there we go. Can I get more cake from it? Oh, I can get loads. How much cake is in this thing? Oh, there's loads of them. Right, well, I'm certainly not going to have to worry about food. And what else is in here? Uh, some not so amazing stuff, but uh, I might as well just grab it anyway. And oh, look, there's someone here. There's someone here. Oh, they're trying to offer me cake. Oh, they've trapped me in with cake. Right, I, I gotta go. I gotta go after them. <laughs> oh, that's take your shirt. He's dead. Why is he in the game again? Oh, is he spawning in my house? <laughs> Why is he spawning in my house? <laughs> okay, so I need to remember his skin. I know that he's not in the game. It's really bad when they... Uh, when people die, then they run back around because, um, yeah, it's kind of a bit, like, distracting for everyone else. And I guess, I guess this is this is Squid's place. I don't know what he was going to have in there. I guess it was going to be a bunch of fish. Do I still have that that squid spawner, or did I dump that? Oh, I think I might have got rid of it. I was going to spawn a, uh, a squid down in here. Oh, well, no worries. <laughs> Look at his bed there. Look at his slippery, watery bed. You shouldn't be in here. You should, like, go back to the spawn. Otherwise, it's going to get really confusing for people. And uh, gamer tags are still not on. Um, um, okay, so who's left in the game? We got uh, Shop Paintbrush and Idrush. There's only uh, two more people left in the game. So, um, yeah, I I'm, I'm at least in the final three, you know. The worst I could do now is be third place, and I am very happy with third place. Second place would be very good. One place would be, uh, first place even, uh, would be absolutely incredible, you know. Like, in my view, first place wins and everyone else is just losers, you know. <laughs> I mean, as long as you have fun playing, it doesn't really matter. But, you know, like, second place is just the first loser. And look, there's someone over here. Right, I'm get them with the splash potion of poison. I don't know who that is. They haven't seen me yet, though. Oh, they've gone right to the spawn. I told you to go to the spawn was the thing to do. Oh, they got full iron armor, though. Oh, what's he doing? What's the host doing? Why is the host attacking him as well? Why is he cheating? Why did you attack him? I'm going to kill him as well, because he, like, I think I was going to win that fight anyway, but he just joined in. Like, he's supposed to be dead. Oh, that's really annoying. I mean, I know it doesn't really matter. Like, I'm pretty sure that, like, I had won that fight anyway, but I don't know. It's just a little bit unfair for everyone else. And I think that's the final person there. That's the final person for me to go against. Oh, no, he hit me from well far away. Quick, go, go, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, I can win, I can win, I can win. Come on, I've only got half a heart. Get him, get him, get him. I did it. I managed to take him out. What? Then I died? Who killed me? Did we kill each other? Was it a draw? Let me see this. Yeah, we killed each other. I think. Is that what happened? <laughs> I think I killed Idrush, and then me and Short Paint, uh, Short Paintbrush killed each other at the exact same time. So I was joined first. Well, I don't know because, like, I killed him and then he killed me. So I don't know. At least on my screen, I was I was the last one alive. So um, yeah, I guess you can leave it up to yourselves whether I won or not. I guess I was I was either first place or joint first place. So either way, uh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of this video here. I just wanted to give uh, a big thank to Take Your Shirt for inviting me into the game, even though he did kind of cheat at the end and try and help me out, which uh, yeah, wasn't appreciated, but it doesn't matter. It's still uh, a pretty awesome looking map and it was nice having uh, my nice little house in it as well. 
And so yeah, everyone else uh, that was recording as we were playing this, uh, there'll be a link to their channel in their description. People like uh, Squid of uh, Officially Smithy and Lewis Blogs Gaming. So uh, if you want to see this game from their view, uh, you can go and check that out now. But that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!